everybody, this is Richard, your friendly neighborhood access coordinator, TV5. Um, I must admit, I was a little bit late for the Municipal Building Committee's tour of uh, the Senior Center here, also known as Hooker School. Uh, so, I'm going to have to do a little bit of recreating here. They started off talking about the drainage issue here on the north side of the building. They've been having problems with water building up against the wall and causing mold and mildew. It's the brick wall, mold and mildew inside the building. And we have here some sort of washout. And there's another hole there where that orange cone is. Um, I'm not really familiar with just what the problem is with the drainage. I suspect it's probably the grading on the strip of grass here which is currently covered with snow and it's tilted towards the building which is uh, not good but as far as I know, this is the only part of the building where there is a drainage problem. I see a spot here. Let's zoom in on it. That looks like a bit of a washout up near the wall. And it was about that point inside that we had the worst mold so that may be where it was coming in now the committee was also talking about the roof on the building before i got here uh the old portion of the building had its roof replaced last summer i think they took all the slate off and put in sheet metal in its place which personally i didn't think it was going to look very good but it turned out quite nice and the roof on top of the addition here, which I think went in in like 1952, is a membrane flat roof and it, uh, Gary Berg said that it definitely needs work. Most of the problems with this building that you'll see throughout this tour are mainly the result of deferred maintenance. Uh, yeah which was caused by really no money or select board not being willing to spend the money or just not wanting to deal with it because they have so much else on their plates so I'm walking towards the front of the building here and it's about here where we pick up the committee with their tours. They look at and talk about the new front steps here, which um, from what I've been told have turned out to be a bit of a debacle in that the plans that the contractor was given to put the steps in had no railings. And there's someone left them out, so he just built the steps with no railings. So eventually, some months later, uh, another company was contracted to put the railings in, and they put in railings that do not meet code, don't even come close to meeting code. As you can see, it's just one bar going down from the top to the bottom with nothing on the side. Some kid could easily fall through there. and hurt themselves. Right now we'll join in with the Municipal Building Committee as they uh, discuss this, these steps. Well, we did the railings, they're here. <laughs> that's, uh, we had a couple days ago. That's, part, ago. Yeah, that's part of the issue, they're not the code. The sidewalk is not finished in. Yeah, well that's a, technically that's not the code because of the plates in the wall. Did somebody draw up some plans for somebody to build this, or was it just sort of a, you know, a side job? Uh, we actually had plans at one time, and what happened was they 
we went to take the old ones off and the foundation was good underneath. The plans were a foundation and the stairs and everything. And we tore out the old stairs and the foundation was there and everybody said, well, let's just leave the foundation. It's good. So the problem was it didn't include the five foot walkout. Yeah. So it pushed everything else forward. So they had to okay, come down and repair like the existing foundation and put in some tubes in the front. And that at that point, nobody drew it. it they just kind of right. winged what it they needed a couple to do, of words from Tim on what to do to make it yeah. work. If that ever pops up, you need somebody to just sketch something up. I and then, some call, some call. And I guess the deal with the railings was they weren't really on the thing or there was some confusion as to the bidding process. And, so you just need to and yeah, they don't have the proper extensions on it. Plus the wall protection on the sides. Yeah, it's yeah, it's the that's the problem. So. Well, that stuff can be added, but it, you know, you've got 11 at least. Looks it looks like close, close, but it be short. Mm -hmm. No, I mean that width-wise. So these railings aren't up to code. No, not from that height. <laughs> they need to be 34 to 38 inches off the walking surface uh, to the, ra the grass or the railing. Extend it out. And <coughs> whatever. Final payment on the contract? Uh, okay. Now the final, these weren't in the initial contract, all right, the railings. And that was discussed at, at a town meeting why they weren't in there. Well, the patient said they weren't there. I just got a piece of paper and there was no specifications on the entity stuff. Right. We, he, he winged it. And then uh, David told him to uh, get it done. Get Really said. So he called uh, one contractor, he couldn't get it, so they went to Amherst Welding. And Amherst Welding says, well, I was just told to put in uh, a one one line rail, that's it. And I said, well, is that legal? No. I said, well, don't you think you ought to do it legally? Well, he said, I wasn't told to, he was kind of told to do it. Just put it as simple as possible. As simple as possible, and that's it. And I said, well, that's going to be good, because we're going to have to cut them out afterwards anyway. <laughs> And yeah. if you read this right now, wouldn't this have to be handicapped accessible if ramp? Yeah. Anyways, all of them have well, to be not, now if you do it right. All entrances now well, have to change the code. You could probably get away with getting a waiver on that, but the, uh, even the railings themselves, even if there's stairs here, Safety they issue. still have to be at accessibility right. uh, required right. the, yeah, the extension and, <coughs> right. and so. everything. So, yeah. and so there's no specs on it, not on, a, on the stairs uh, or on okay. the railings. So, so simple this, projects like this, I think, in the future, um, really should a simple sketch would help quite a bit. Just to just to put out what the simple codes are. There's no, really well, simple guidelines. Well, to there, Tim had a, a, a out of the code of book. He had a, a picture of what is needed. Right but in the back of our. The problem code, is code books. none of us were in charge of the project. So. Yeah. This, this was all thrown into David Nixon's lab to do it. And he was told. You handle it, so David handled it. But right, David, but we can help him from now on. Well, so this is it, and and how many times we said, David, look, if you got any questions, we're glad to, to help you out. Well, of course, David don't ask us anything. According to some of the selectmen, uh, we don't know what we're talking about. So, we've been told that. So, well, we know this is a problem, problem, so we might as well right. keep moving. Yep. Right. We've got door issues. No, <laughs> that's just that's natural fence in the building. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, the unit, then. Yeah. So uh, here you on the other side. Uh, there might be a radiator. Yeah. There is here, but it doesn't work. Yeah, I think they have some little. Yeah, yeah this whole thing. On the you'll ceiling. see it. You'll see this. There's actually. Radiators are done with the way up to the attic, and they're, they were still on last year. Mm -hmm. Just venting straight up oh, into the attic, nothing. That was before they plugged the holes in the roof. Yeah, yeah they were going right yeah. up into the roof. Yeah. Right up into yeah. the roof. Yeah. And when we put the roof on, they took, cut out all that stuff, and we shut the radiators. The shell of the building is in good shape. Uh, the pointing is still in yeah. decent shape. Yeah, and it looks like the proper material. And yep. All the, all the wood cornice and everything isn't really, you know, too bad of shape. No, no. I mean, that's good. It's scraping and grading there. It's uh, seismic has to be addressed. Right. And that's where, where we can get away with existing, you know, historic buildings on a lot of the stuff, some of the stuff is going to have to change dramatically. 
Yeah, there's a there's a waiver for historic yeah. properties yeah, on seismic that. requirements. Yeah. Uh, but on it, it also depends on yeah. right. It also right. depends on the occupancy type. You know, right. if it's an assembly, then there's more stringent. Yeah. Well, I think and, and that would that would only be in the on the front. We don't have a problem with the front section of the building. Right. Not this part here. How much newer is this part from the, from the historic? This this was what fifty. 50, 50 this was fifty five. Somewhere Hopkins was too. Addition is 1950, original 1921. 50, 50, because Hopkins was 55. I think generally mass historical sees anything 50 years older uh, as historic. So we may even, you know, if we yeah. talk about anything with this back end, we may have to get some approvals. But, but I think it doesn't really take, you know, the, the front portion is by far the most historic. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But I and the in maybe not so near future, I can see some really huge renovations put into this particular structure. Oh yeah. There you go. Just so that I mean it's just a no brainer in my opinion. If we if we and, and I already talked to the architect and the engineer that did this section. They said that it was built to take a second floor. Yeah. So that would be. I'm sure the code has changed since. The code's well, changed. That, yeah, size you, this was yeah. last week. I mean, not last week, last year. I talked to. You know, yeah, but it was built to stand when they built it. But the code yeah. has changed. It says like he said. He said it was built now, so it can take the second floor. And they explained to him what the story was, and we were planning it. good and sturdy. Yeah. Well, we're well, we're out back. Is, I think the report yeah. that came out after you. Can, you can think about two level parking back here even would help immensely. Yeah, I'm just thinking, you know, it, 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 there's a possibility of adding from the original hooker school outward and doing right. a full a full complex of right. potentially smaller buildings or yep. one longer yep. single loaded building. I can imagine putting another town offices, you know, 10,000 feet of building space just, here. That, yeah. That's what this did. This right. added on, uh, made this section here a uh, foyer, all right? And added on out to here with a meeting room, an offices, and offices for the whole section. Oh, they got between the two schools. A lot of these chairs were shallower because of kids. Right. Right. Because of accessibility, right. which is actually kind of nice. That's probably the best laid out riser and tread that I've stepped on in a while. Yeah. Yeah. These are the buildings we can't use. Yeah. But, you know, this, this would be good storage space even if it was for Park and Rec because they don't need the public coming up here and we could have a place for their balls. Well, well Park and Rec, they, at least, they were up uh, here for a while until yeah. they we can take off. We can take all the storage for the planning board downstairs. Yeah, that, that too. This is take all that storage, bring it up here because look, you've got all your prints here. Yeah. So, uh, we put shelves and everything mm -hmm. and use this for storage. Yeah. Same with the other one. That'll give you another classroom downstairs. So you've got three classrooms. Of course, downstairs. the problem is if you do this building over, you're going to have to put an elevator into some of the code. Oh, yeah. So you're going to have to go to the third but floor. Right. Right. Yeah. But for right now, for right now, storage spaces. And right. Yeah, this is better this storage design. than having North County Village Hall for some oh, yeah. park. Oh, yeah. I mean, we yeah. saw some of those spaces, you know. They've yeah. got it tough there in the basement trying to store some right. of the. Uh, and even if we do move park and rec here, say now, down the road, we're probably going to have to move them and the seniors out if we're going to fix this building. Oh, yeah. You're not going to be able to renovate this building with people. Yeah. Not, yeah. not that yeah. many people. So, you know, where do, where do we start? Do we start here? Do we start over there? Yeah. You know, and we have to figure that out. I think it'll, it, the plan will, you know, somebody's going to come up with an idea that's going to work real well. We've got so much space, you know, just in these rooms here that's empty. Record storage can happen. Regardless, I mean, we can certainly, you know, contain an area so that we can keep all the stuff here. Well, if, if the second floor goes on, this door, this, this is going right into the second floor. The door gets cut in there and goes right to the second floor. So that, yeah. So what were the thoughts on the roof in terms of where they did they want to keep the uh, drainage into the middle or well, what we, 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 we said, why, why keep it? You know, we thought about just trussing it. 
Yeah. You know, and then putting a metal roof on oh. it looked like this. And then, of course, we started with a whole second floor. Yeah. Right. That right. is why it's kind of a limbo. But mm -hmm. I mean, if you, you know, you could trust it and even Tim's and you could probably pause, you know, if you didn't want to add on to this building, you just mm -hmm. wanted to try to save, you know, yeah. make it look the same. And you could always make a trust that has like storage over there or something like that. Mm -hmm. What are those vents for? Those, this is thing used to like naturally vent the building. So they're not using the water. They don't really serve a purpose. Other no, than create a big space track. for a week. <laughs> we had those on this room also. And they were open all the way to the cellar. And they had a radiator. In fact, the radiator was still in fact in this room. Yeah, if you can do the roof over. Yeah, yeah, right here. There's a radiator up in here. Well, this one's been disconnected. Yeah. No, that one's still there. That one's disconnected because of the elevator. Right in here is where we had the uh, little issues. Yeah. So that's the ductwork and the radiator that's going up. up. Uh, you've got knob and tube wiring. Yeah, yeah. See, this is this went to the radiator that's inside that wall. Yeah, the, the radiator's hanging on that pipe. That's why yeah. it's torn oh. down. <laughs> yeah. hmm. And they cut it off in the first. And it went all the way up to the roof yeah. and out. Oh, okay. Yeah. With the radiator, I don't quite. Maybe they get draft going. I have no idea. Well, even if I had a muscle school, that's one thing they did. The <clears throat> central core, and that was a natural draft yeah. in the building. Yeah. And those radiators in there are starting to leak too. When we yeah. go over there, that's a real thing. Yeah, it's more of like it's like a, a cheap air conditioning system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not cheap when you're running oil. It's yeah. yeah. steam. Yeah. 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 But there is, yeah, like I said, that we found knob and tube. Of course, these are like chases that are straight up through. That's the chimney. You know, there's no fire fire blocking. Right. Well, it's, yeah. it's, it's all, yeah, that could be it, all that stuff. In the attic, you yeah. can't access yes. it from the principal's office mm -hmm. over there. But this is where we had, this thing had leaked so long, they had uh, all these walls had that coated uh, sheetrock, yep. like with the vinyl over it, they just put it up in, as panels. Yep. And it started to blow out, and we were getting water all the way down into the cellar. And what happened was the roof. Eaves, the gutter downspouts were all, and it was just soaking and wicking right into the brick. Yeah. And all of the concrete and mortar, this is just mortar, like an inch and a half thick, stuck to terracotta blocks with the brick on the other side. That's why Tim was saying about this, he didn't know how, about how the structure was. It's just those, you know, grooved terracotta blocks stuck there, and then this stuff's just stuck to it. So they came in, and we had somebody come in and just kind of redo this. Some of it's the water washed the, washed it the did, plaster did right off the wall. Yeah, right yeah. The sheet rock was blowing out, so I thought it was lath that was you know mm -hmm. crumbling and falling down and pushing it. When we oh, pulled okay. it apart, it had just turned all of this like somebody had just dumped sand in there. It was just yeah. pure so, dry sand. Gary, was a leak taken care of? On yes, the roof? we yeah, so we redid the roof. Nice. This is so a flat did, part. They do icing water like up the. They did a membrane piece. roof up here. Uh, so oh, this is way. a flat part. This okay. is a flat part right here. Yeah. We, when they redid that, we redid all of it, and they put a new gutter out, downspouts, and it was the worst part was right where the downspout comes down over here, and it was just like you know backing up and blowing right in, and they dissolved the mortar and all that. So we, they took care of that, and they took care of the roof. So this roof is not even it's about a year old. All right. And this is the tin up up top. There's tin on this, and this is a flat membrane. Well, the heating system here is all, you know, you've got these old units and the steam and it's just not like that. No, no, it should be gas. The whole units. Well, if, if the remodeling, if we do a remodeling job on this, which is what we're going to have to do, then we're going to have to put a whole new heating system, a whole new electrical system, tear all this stuff out with the pipes, and completely redo it. Uh, at that time, we, we checked on the Gary and I looked, and, and we could actually put an elevator, take that elevator off downstairs, make a few changes, and bring that elevator right up in this whole corner. The elevator here is, it's not big enough anymore anyways. There's one here? Yeah. Oh. It okay. doesn't go to the top floor. I mean, I know they make jokes, but not very big. <laughs> it's actually a lift. Is what it's, 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 yeah. it's a lift. Because when I when they wanted to move over, I did some research and you know, I called the guy. I said, "Can you make that?" He says, "No." When we bought that, they bought it. It was obsolete. It only went to the second floor. Right. You know, <clears throat> and then, you know, it's not to code now. Anyways, it's not big enough. And then, of course, we had some other people come in, and the fire poles all have to be lowered so you know, right. you bring that up to code. Yeah. The, uh, the building essentially would need to be 
gutted for a right. good yeah. amount yeah. of time. Right. It's, it's not sprinkler. Right. 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 Not sprinkler. That would have to be added. You'd have no insulation. I'll bet there's a lot of lead in asbestos. A lot of lead, a big, huge abatement process. But it's that's, that's a big deal. It's sort of, I mean, you've got sort of be all worth it. <laughs> it's, a, it's got good bones. That's for sure. exterior is in good shape. Yeah, yeah, looks yeah. dry. It's uh, yeah. brick looks good. It's got yeah, it is long term. The floor is still pretty good. She has a lot of stuff that's just fine here. It just yeah. needs to be brought up to you know safety standards. Well, I was just curious because there's a, a you know some discussion about. Making the second floor of the library accessible, right? You know, and um, the getting something into that historic building on the outside in terms of vertical lift and everything looks very expensive. But if there was a way to take advantage of it and do it for both buildings, right? Such that we could have accessibility on both of them and yeah. connect them, and then yeah. we could have some library space. You know, maybe that they makes actually sense. have a plan of a right. building in the back. I've seen it, yes. I, and it, I think it's such I, a great idea. You know, again, since all this property is owned. Already, right, right, and you know it's you're going to spend this much time and effort to get this thing up to code, just to put a connector, you know, even if it's a a, a second floor bridge or something, elevator in this building and a we ramp. We could do it way. delicately so that the Would historic that properties look still right. look good. Is that code important. though? Is you're, you're like. It, is there a certain distance you have to go before you can get to an Not elevator? Not that I'm aware. I'd have to talk to Tim. I mean, there's areas of refuge code. that you can... Right. Yeah. Well, and, and, you know, yeah. if... Um, yeah, there would have to be areas of refuge for persons with disabilities so, so that they could be in a fire-protected area if the building was, you know, there was right. an emergency, yeah. then they would be able to be safely evacuated from that area with, with assistance. Okay. So Tim, Tim could work that out, but uh, there's some opportunities as long as the floor levels are... Close, close right. yeah. similar, right. That's it. Yeah. So yeah. that would have to be changed. Now, the air handling unit is well, right, right out here for the, side, for the uh, office. Uh, now, the air conditioning. They may. It's going to hold me if I stand up. Oh, yeah, it'll hold me. Oh, That's three quarters there. Not a problem. It doesn't look like an approved OSHA technique, by the way, Dan. Oh, it's hinged. Nice. That makes it easier. Get a flashlight. Oh, yeah, it's pretty it's tight. Yeah, it's, uh, oh, we don't want to crawl around up there. Huh. Is it all uh, uh, trust or crawl. big um, post and beam trusses? It's, or? More, it's balloon frame, looks like it goes all the way up to the... Oh, there's another f ceiling up there or something? Yeah, there's it's another like hatch up there to the that's roof. A, that's the roof. a hatch to the roof. Okay, well, I won't push that open, it knows <laughs> how much is up there. I think they blocked that up, didn't they? I'm not sure, yeah. No. I can't remember if they left it open or not. They left it open. I haven't been up there. Since they did uh, or the, the technician has been up there working on my okay. satellite dish. Okay. <laughs> All right, but some electrical. Yeah, some stuff has been put up here. There's some, some liquidite and then some Is that a leak right there or is that just old stain? I think it's old stain creek. That, right, this, yeah, that, it was, you know, it was slate up there, the old slate and the, yeah. the new roof. Yeah. Is, and we've had no issues with that. Yeah, the uh, the framing looks well, pretty solid. Exactly. So we've got this whole middle section. It's, it doesn't look. Yeah, yeah, right. it, it, it doesn't look as um, you know, it's, it, it's solid, but it's not as heavy duty as I would expect. You know, yeah. You know, it looks more like 16, 20 inches on center or so. When you get up in the top attic of the library, that gets scary up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the way they suspended that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've done some restructuring of that type of stuff just by, you know, connecting the, you know, the yeah. the slopes on either side with big, huge timbers. Yeah. yeah. Go in there with a nail gun, blast a bunch of stuff together. Take a look at the elevator. It's bigger than one on, the one at the high school, though, isn't it? <laughs> it is Probably about the same size, maybe small. a little smaller. Boy, I hate to be caught in that thing when the alarms go off. Um, yeah. that, well, it's got a that, phone in there. If so. that track, those little sliding things fall off the track, it jams up. Yeah. And you, oh, it, really? it goes out of, it trips out, and you got to come yeah. back and yeah. reset everything. And 
Do those so they close automatically, or no? You, you have, have to do it yourself. Them close yeah. and you get in there, and if, you, if it messes up and it doesn't go the right way yeah. and pops out, then it yeah. Yeah, trips the thing. They That's close automatically. Right. Those? Yeah. Oh. The, I don't know. I've never gotten up in the thing. I'm too afraid. I, I haven't either. I haven't oh, either. I put scary. my equipment in there to bring it up for the planning board meeting. But the one at the town hall is really scary. We get in <laughs> and the thing jumps and makes a noise. What's that? It's got air conditioning in the unit. Oh, jeez. This is hot in here. There's some energy issues going on. Yeah. Thermostat is right up. So they got their own zone. Yeah. There's an air handler here. Yeah. The air conditioning unit from the roof comes down to it, and they, there's lines I'll show you off the wall. On aging, I would, we can leave the heat up. <laughs> the air handler's above yeah. the ceiling? Yeah, that's what this right here. Oh, yeah, the air handler's yeah. right at the ceiling. Yeah. A lot of space above there. It's like three feet above the ceiling. Yeah. Plenty of room to do that. Well, it's nice they put some effort into this little office. At least it's, yeah. Yeah. I spent third grade in here Did you? way back in the 1960s. Was in charge here, and Jane Booth got what Jane Booth wanted. Is that right, okay? Else. <laughs> she, this was her building. Yes. You couldn't do nothing in this building unless Jane Booth said so. Huh. And I'll tell you, a lot of people that are. Yeah, they kind of put the way they did. This is the, the window. <laughs> That's interesting construction technology. Yeah, you just put some panels up there, spend the roof around. This is, the seniors use this a lot. They have the computers in here, reading, they have knitting in here. Oh, this is for the knitting room. Oh, is this the knitting room? Should I bring a weapon in and protect myself? It's tall ceiling. So you've got quite a plenum on the other side of the Council of Aging because the ceiling was down yeah. about eight and a half feet. Well, there's... That there's, room was identical to this one yeah. back in the day. Yeah. There's a plan of ductwork. There's a lot of wasted space up there. You know, they made it just right. I can, uh, now I can hear that thing rumbling away down there. The boiler? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I'm trying to this place, I forget what this is used so far mm -hmm. this year. So all these window units, are, are they operational? They're, they work. They're not, they're so far gone. They're not being used. Well, well they are being used. Yeah, they, they are the heat. Yeah. Well, they are. So the heat, it's steam, and this system is so, out of balance that it's just unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, the system is... And that's what those vents on on the outside are supposed to bring in fresh air. Right. Uh, bring in so, so much fresh air. Yeah. I mean, uh, the inefficiency of the heating system in this place is just... Terrible. Same system as high school. Same system as high school. That's why the high school is a little upset. I mean, there's a working in this structure. That's minor, considering the yeah. amount of time this building has been here, right? Here, right? Mm -hmm. And the, you know, given the fact that we're on the bottom of the lake here in the valley. And this was my second grade class. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was sent down to Catholic, after I went to kindergarten here, but then and I went to Catholic school for a few years before I came back into Russell School. So mm -hmm. I never made it into this part of the building. Yeah, I was downstairs with Mrs. Naval. Well, there we obviously, asbestos tile here. Classic 9x9 asbestos. Yeah. This obviously hasn't been remodeled. Yeah. But we've it's got, all functioning. We've got the vents. Uh, yes. There's one one of the new urinals downstairs I shut down because it uh, needs a valve and there's no money. But. Hmm. On this floor, there's only one set of restrooms. I mean, men, there's men, 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 yes, one. Yeah, they're lined up Same. over here. Uh, no. no, I was just recalling that Andy said, you know, with the restrooms, if Park and Rec were to come in, that, you know, there's a Corey issue that restrooms couldn't be shared with public areas. So they would need yeah. their own set. That's well, true. They, they I would almost this. expect if we did an addition that I would just do another set anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm thinking more short yeah, term. Right but, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, a lot of these, I mean, technically, you don't think you really need all those toilets and urinals, you know, in there. But well, it's based on in, occupancy numbers. So. Right, it was for kids, but now that's This is the course you change. Yeah. 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 Same with right there. Yeah, just drying up. It's just. That's 
death trap need water? Or is it the smell? Mm. Could be. And the, the urinal. I haven't seen any sewer flies. No, those have water, but one that's out of order. Well, yeah. Kind of good. So, and there's no floor drain. I didn't know that one was out of order. So. Well, sure. Nurses' room. No, that's her closet. Yeah, restroom. Yeah. Because this was the teacher's room back when it was a school, so. The smoking room? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much so. This is where they they divided this, the PV, the, uh, when Pioneer was over here. Pioneer Valley Charter School. Well, at least I don't know if I've got a key for these. Okay, here's, a, here's a nice office. All right. Now we got this room here, all right, which is just dump for the plans. These plans could go all go upstairs. Of course, you got another office right there, and then you got the planning board after that. So if you take this wall out here, this is one whole big used to be one whole big room right hey, here. Yeah. Hey, hey, built this when the charter school was over here yeah. mm -hmm. to divide it up. And exactly the same thing on the other side. It's just the other side is just like this. So, I mean, this this would be a perfect office. Well, I think the roof does pitch to the middle so, in there. Yeah, are these asbestos ceiling piles too? These are those cork board. It's oh, possible. Oh, Down okay. cellar, there's uh, there is some glue and stuff that they use on the cork board that could possibly. Yeah. Sometimes the glue they use to put these right. up with the brown glue yeah. has asbestos. More the glue than the material yeah. is gluey. Yeah, I, I call the, you know, the glazing in your windows yeah. has it a lot of times. PCB in the caulking sometimes as well. Yeah. yeah. And he had looks like this is this was charter school stuff. Yes. Well, I don't know if that was that Willie. What about with all that system? Because there's some of that upstairs. Was that still when it was back when it was, they were still using it for the school? All that. Because uh, there's some of that on the third like floor too. Down. Uh, I don't know who did that, but like you said, yes, it's all the way up. It's all the way up to the third floor, third so floor, it, was, it had to have been there before the charter school. Oh, okay. It might have been there right at the end of when they were using it here. Cat 5E, so it's not that old. Yeah, this one here is another same thing. And then, of course, you can always tie in. This, this opens up into the other classroom, too, yeah. which is... Uh, yeah, so a good amount of records in this building. And those papers up on the third floor are highway department floor. Yeah. So you can stick a lot of these, uh, all these cabinets in the and that. Yeah. You can't give these away at our office. Now you can see the tilt in the ceiling better in this room. Yes. Yeah, they, there's probably trusses up there yeah. that span, and they're matching the pitch of the ceiling, the floor mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. This is a classroom here, and the next one, those two rooms were divided, was just what this looks like. So we got this room here. That room there, you got the big room there, and if you take the petitions down, you got those other two large rooms there, which uh, you know, park and rec. And then they got the toilets over there for park and rec. The toilets downstairs are for the senior center. Right. And the nurse and the officers, uh, the office has their toilet in the nurses section over there. So you know, you basically have everything you need here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and plenty of grass out there for park and rec to play. Uh, I'm surprised uh, Andy is here. Yeah, he couldn't make it. He's uh, he's away this week. Oh, okay. All right. I know. Yeah, I spoke with him yesterday. Oh, okay. so there was no doubt. Yeah. 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 And this is where I spent first grade. First grade. <laughs> <laughs> you have better memory than I do. Mm -hmm. 
Mrs. Horton with a bun. <laughs> that was originally a restroom. You can see the yeah, hole in there where the toilet was. This has a sink in it and all that. Hot water. They used to have they used to have popcorn machines and all kinds of stuff here. There's no circuits. In there. <laughs> Refrigerators. <laughs> it looks like some kind of a massage mat. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. you know, to have the, oh, that's we're using, use it for, using it for now. Using the buildings, you know. Potential. I think it, you know, you may have to add a, you know, a trailer or two for office or storage space as well. But I just go to the next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. All, all these yeah. connect. Yeah. 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 You connect. Over, you go to every. Okay. Street. Here's your glue. You can see these things oh, popping yeah. off, and you know that's probably the. Yeah. Oh, they cleaned this up. What test? What are they using this for? Brown bag room. Brown bag. It's always been the brown bag. Right? Well, we last time it. we were in here, we were crawling well, underneath. You've been in here since I cleaned this out. Yeah, right. No, I haven't. Suzanne so. and I cleaned this out because we had the mold issue. So everything in here that was stored in here was covered in the mold. Oh, wow. we. There was desks piled up in here. Everything. And it just. Yeah. And there we got into yeah. here yeah. in the next room. That's why that's. Yeah. Abide came in and abated everything. They mm -hmm. cut out the, the floor. I mean, you can see the brown glue on the carpet over here too, where it was. But they went, they came through, sprayed it, killed it. They hit it with a primer, and then the, mm -hmm. it stops it. Yep. And then I, I painted the rest of it with another primer that they gave me to finish it up. And now, and now they're waiting to paint. Now, did that happen over the course of a week, or is like because it was shut down for a while? No, or? no, it no. just it just so clammy in here, and it was so that, wet that the yeah. water backs up against this side of the building because that's where that drain is out there. Yeah, it goes right out through this wall. Yeah. Right between these two drains, it just the moisture just sat on those walls, wicked through, yeah. and yeah. it was bad. Everything yeah. in here was covered with it. We just. Mm -hmm. You know, they were keeping it here. They were going to get rid of it as, you know, sell it on uh, Municipid. And then once it was contaminated, we just started hauling down to a dump for a roll-off at the highway garage. And we got rid of all the furniture and stuff that was in here. And the bike came in and cut out the carpet, cleaned everything up, scraped it. Mm -hmm. Has it been taken care of on the outside so no. that it's not no. going to happen That's again? Well, it, the drainage is out there. It's dumping yeah. right there. So unless, until we fix the drainage, decide what we want to do with the roof, you're going to have to just right. keep having this problem right. in the way. Summer. So not to mention, it's just... it's. It's the and north, northeast basement of a New England building. Right, and there's no ventilation in here. I mean, if you had an air conditioning system, that would be taking the moisture out of here, but you don't. You can't. Right. Now, here, here's another room that doesn't get any any use to speak of. Yeah. Oh, there was another day there were people in here playing pool. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I mean, she's cleaned it up quite a bit. Mm -hmm. The boards down. Uh, well, maybe that's why they weren't here, because the shield smelled, smelled damp also. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, there's bad uh, mold all along here. Mm -hmm. go out from there, that's where that hole is there. Yeah. And then this wall here, they go out here, so the, the other catch basin is right here. Mm -hmm. And it looks like they just dumped a bunch of rock, uh, trap rock in there. Yeah. That was runoff uh, pipe into it, and that was it. And this cork board is all the way surrounding here. This was originally part of the cafeteria. There's no wall there. At least when I was here in first grade, and then they made this a classroom as they needed the space. Oh. Sorry. No, this is kind of, right. That's the problem with your heating, your air conditioning. I mean, you have to run. The here has got to be nine feet, so yeah, there's there's room to lower it a bit. The windows are right there, so. Right. Yeah, and then he splits his away. Yeah, the many splits to divide the rooms up. That you know, but then you're going to get the elect electrical straightened out. You know, and the heating system needs to be redesigned because the steam is the most expensive thing to maintain, run. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. And it went all the way over with chases too, or something. Yeah. It went all the way over to the, that corner. Mold. Okay. So, and that's where the floor drain goes out. The daylight's probably raining out there. I think it's going to probably take the whole committee to 
uh, oversee a project of this scope. I mean, some, there's going to have to be somebody, one of us, on site, you know, throughout the day as as workers are in here doing this. I mean, you, you, there's so many variables, and in this building. There are so many contaminants. You've got asbestos, oh, you've got is, yeah. lead, you've got asbestos. mold, you've got so much stuff. So everybody's going to be running around in Tyvek suits with hoodies and footies and respirators and goggles. And, you know, there's not a, a ton of scrap metal, but that stuff needs to be spoken for and dealt with properly and separated from the contaminants. I would suspect we'd have a construction management. Yeah. You know, I'm not sure that we clerk of the work. We would be the ones responsible. For not necessarily responsible, but I mean, some oversight. Of, somebody should sure. yeah. yes. be over here saying, yeah. okay, yeah. you management people, you get, this is what you're going to do. And I think the price, the price determines who you got to have on the job. Yeah. And the price to do this over would require us by state okay. law to have clerk of the work. Uh, we'll yeah. It looks like this is still used then, Gary. Yes, they we just put a new dishwasher in. We had to install a new grease trap because it wasn't all the sinks weren't tied into it. Right. So they had to come back, put a bigger grease trap in because it wouldn't fit the old grease trap so the jackhammer on part of the floor, tie all that in, new dishwasher. And the range and the hood is all up to code. They are up to code. Uh, we they don't use it anymore except for a couple of times. The pilot was all the pilots running were I think it was Spend like hundreds and some thousands with the gas every like three months. <laughs> just to keep the pilots going. Out. So, and then this thing needs to get out of here. This is yeah, some pizza. Uh, or pizza, uh, yeah. They were to make those pizzas for us. Yeah, it's cool. Pizza. Yeah, and of course, it's propane out there. And if we went to you know, gas for the rest of it, we'd have to obviously switch. Is there a gas line to the building? No. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah. But there's gas on Middle Street? There's gas on Middle Street. The town hall is gas. Uh, we just switched the library to gas this year. It's the first year they're running on a new gas, high efficiency furnace. They wanted to, they got a quote, the chimney was curling and falling right off the back of the building. I don't know if you noticed it's not there anymore. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> they wanted to fix the chimney, and Tim goes, you know, you're talking a ton of money there. Yeah. To yeah. fix the chimney, line it, it's going to have to be braced back up because it's so high. You have to run ties back. And I, so I suggested, why don't you Get rid of the oil tank, run the gas, it's high efficiency, get rid of the whole chimney because they don't use the fireplace. Yeah. And so that's what they did. And they vented it out the side, they ran the line in, they got a high efficiency gas furnace in there. Oh, okay. nice job matching the slate because yeah. you can't tell. I, you can't even tell it's done. Yeah, right. It's on that yeah. side. Keep track of the contract. Uh, this was new a year ago. I think it was the first week Suzanne started the uh, refrigerator cramped out. Well, I mean, they do have a lot of programs. That's great. Yeah. Right, so uh, this is the, the elevator comes down here. You can see some of the water damage. It was from this roof. We made it all the way down to here. Uh, Gravity. Same with up here. And they, there was not been tube wiring in here. The plastic. They cut it out to see what would help us put it together. Steam return. Oh, okay. And it blew out a year ago, two years ago, rotted. The steam was just coming right out of the floor. Mm -hmm. So I patched it, but there's a ramp here, so I said, well, you know what, I'm going to use a different color, so at least you know mm -hmm. that right. something's here. Yeah, that's a good idea. So they came and patched that. Now, the reason why all the tile here is peeling up, it curled, it's starting to trip, water, it's starting to snow. When I tore this up to start patching it back, they didn't abate the asbestos. They just glued the new tile to the asbestos. Uh, so it does not, the glue is pulling off the asbestos tiles. And you'll see it all the way through. Yeah, the, the heat is just, I mean, you got the radiator. There's no real way of controlling it. Holy cow, that's a neat looking radiator. And the water main comes into the building right here. Okay. Yeah, VCT doesn't last forever anyway. Even, but, if you, even if you do you maintain. Know, that, you, you don't cover up asbestos. You no. get rid of it. No. Yeah. It's like an all So now this is what, eight, this I think 17 years they did this? 16? 
I mean, yeah. Yeah. Well, and and now, the, now the floor, you know, this you can be done. Oh. The last time I the last time I had it inspected, they were a year behind. So yeah, they've got the asbestos here that they've encapsulated. They they've got the asbestos here. So, well, it doesn't matter. We'll do the inspection, but we're not going to give. Wait, has there been an inspector. estimate to abate not, any of this? Uh, uh, me making no. a, you know, an inspection. And I'm sure it's been so long. Thing it's a safety issue. That's you making yeah. a yeah. safety issue. Four hundred dollar thing. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Well, this is one of the scariest things I've ever seen. Mm. Uh, H. B. Smith. Holy cow! It's not really that old. Yeah. Yeah. I think they've actually changed out two two sections on this a few years back. Yep. They still actually make very similar type of oil. It's, uh, this is oil though. It's got the high fire, low fire. There's yeah. two different nozzles. Yeah. Fire mm -hmm. I think it, uh, I believe it's around five gallons an hour. Some years ago, Pioneer Valley Charter student came into my office and said there's black smoke coming out of the chimney. Oof. So I stuck my head in here and it was full of smoke in here. Oh. So um, that was misfiring and putting smoke out. This runs the entire building, both, yes. both sections. Yes, yeah. this is the, uh, the loop, this is the hot water loop off. They use the, the tankless coil yeah. to make the loop for the hydro air in the mm -hmm. senior yeah. center. That's the control for the valves. Yeah. Yeah. It's over here, it's got its own circulator, expansion tank. Single zone for that, right? Right. And then the water heater. So like I said, you can see all the asbestos. Yeah, it's wrapped. They encapsulated it. Which is also steam? Yes. Or, yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, asbestos is really good insulation. So, I mean, that's... Yeah. Now, is this something that's gonna gonna remain and just re switch the burner out to uh, gas? I would not. No, no. Take it out. First of all, you don't want to go with steam. Steam. No. You have to boil water to make right. heat. You're right. pushing it to so 220 okay. degrees. To this start is just pushing. a big pile of scrap metal, basically. Right. And uh, I mean, this this you could almost put the uh, the wall hung boilers. You could almost do them in each room. Oh, under the window, those units. Yeah. You know, and put your baseboard or whatever you want to use. I mean, you could almost divide it like that in this building. It's set up for that. Or you could put a system in and, you know, and, re and pipe the whole thing with a bunch of redundant boilers. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, this, uh, this place is, I forget how many gallons we've used already here. North Hadley Hall is close to, it's over 2,500 gallons for North Hadley Hall. I think this is like 5,000 so far. We've used close to it. Well, it doesn't mix, you know, when you, when you consider the town of Hadley has the lowest tax rate in the valley and you're burning 5,000 gallons of fuel, it doesn't leave any money left to put into these buildings. No. You know, it's time to, to, to change. And there's going to there's gonna have to be um, some major decisions made at town meeting to change this. Right. I mean, this around. whole system, I mean, and don't forget, and you're going to see it, Russell School's even worse. Steam, the pipe, I mean, the cost of putting in steam piping now is just the labor intensity of it is what you, you go broke. Nobody could afford to do right. it. But the problem with every time steam is an uh, open air, right? You know, so every time the water goes up, it comes back and it brings back all the rust so from you this get, thing. You so now you here, end up with this. You how often do you drain it off? I usually blow it off about once or twice a week. And it's still that brown. Well, I mean the pipe. You put any and don't forget, like a, a, a forced hot water system, you let some water in, and unless you lose pressure, right? Most right. of that water is stagnant water. Once the minerals and the stuff is boiled out of it, you've got you know a neutral water right. in there. But this just is constantly feeding, yeah. constantly feeding. So you're minutes. every day you're probably putting in five to six gallons of fresh water into the system. It's just causing you know the oxygen and everything's causing all the pipes. It comes back. The boilers plug up. The you know the Pumps mess up. This has a uh, it's just antique. That's all. Yes. You can't this run. doesn't have enough capacity for the water because the boiler. So that's why you have a return tank, yeah. a condensate tank. All the water returns to the tank, sits in there until you need it. Otherwise, it would just keep adding, pumping, pumping, pumping. And then if you didn't have the return tank to collect it and pump it back in, when the system shut down for the night, the boiler would overfill. 
start coming out of the radiators up top. Mm. That's where we cable cast from. Oh, yeah, part of the right. operation down here, the server. It's cool in here. Yeah, how do you how are you keeping it so cool in here? Look at that thing. <laughs> oh, Leaky God. windows, that's why. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Disconnect there. What are these anyway? Huh? What are these? <laughs> breakers. Breakers, huh? I've never seen a breaker like that. You just pull them out when you need to cut the power? They like breakers and little fuses. Mm -hmm. Pull out fuses? Mm -hmm. Pull it out and put two little fuses in. Yeah. Is it like a tray? Like a tray or something? Mm -hmm. So, no, there's one of those with a pull out. You don't have air conditioning in here. This is just a window. You have a mice there. Oh, there is a window. We put a window in there. I've seen the ones, but this is not with the. Well, the windows are not real uh, and they're just air tight. Well, I mean, using outside air for to, to cool server equipment can. I mean, it's yeah. it's real yeah. staticky in the winter. Well, you really need a mount of moisture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, will keep it from. I don't know if that thing even works anymore. Yeah. Because because they, they no, it's not even connected anymore. For years, I had no heat in here other than. Uh, this uh, electric space heater here and the quartz heater. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we look forward to providing you with a better facility. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. We do. Actually, I rather like it down here. It's out of the way and quiet. And <laughs> we'll keep them in. Got a clear view of it. We'll just fix it up. Mm -hmm. You can say we'll just well, fix it up. The next it. service they put in there is going to take up most of that wall as well. TV units in there. All these are all popping apart. You can look right in. I mean, there's, there's dead space. It's not even. Really All the mortars gone, it's starting to pop everything out now. We've got a few pump right here. Water, yeah, ocean and columns are all popped. They've all fallen apart. But I'd be so proud to see this place wrapped and scaffolding for a couple of years, just doing it, you know, a year and a half. Yeah, the guy, when I got a quote, I said, the last time the guy was here repairing the roof, so what happens is they'll fix it, you know, that historic thing, so they said that Mohawk server, the guy told me, oh, the roof is perfect, but you don't need it. I said, wait a minute. So you're telling me, I said, we're repairing a roof every, every year for leaks. I said, so you're telling me that we should go through here and put all the wiring, sheetrock, insulation, and everything, and then... When the roof leaks and it's running through the wall, dripping on our new lights, then we just go up and patch it. That's that's a good economical way of using the town's money. But the guy, might be able to recycle the, the guy from Revet Roofing said to tear it down. It gets, uh, it he told me that I said ballpark. What are you looking at? Though? Like tear this all off and obviously put slate back on. And he's I believe it was like close to three quarters of a million dollars. He said it's going to cost you over thirty grand just to scaffold the building to do it. That, and you got to deal with state rate too. Some of these places they've had to, the last time we had a problem over here, they had to bring the lull in the machine, you know, and, and set it up because they couldn't like, access it. Right. Here's your side yeah, this yeah, is the side. I mean, how are you yeah, supposed to snowball this or shovel it and make it? The building, the, the building should be vacated ASAP and uh, covered, covered with scaffolding. Loader and scoop all the sidewalk out of the way. I mean, they've got the concrete all on the side of top. Look at the detailing around the arches and everything. Yeah, this is really something. very well done. Right, but here you go. When I started here a couple of years ago, this was a solid piece. This is set snap and dropped a half an inch. And in the past three years? The past two years. Two years, yeah. Because you know there's a life here. Well, and you're probably going to get some more cracks in this brick here. Well, and it's all yeah. starting to pop out. You've got the same situation on all of these. Right. Freeze off, freeze off, now, freeze here's freeze where off. you really run into your issues. I can almost catch the heel of my boot. So what do you think some of those kids coming down here are going to do? 
This is used? Yeah. Well, it's not, it, it's an egress. That one they cannot use for an egress. <laughs> egress, you, you kill egress yourself only. trying to <laughs> escape. But, I mean, look, you know, I mean, <laughs> I mean it's, it's, it's close to three inches wide. That's your heel, but a lady's heel. Exactly, the kids. Is this a fracture, or were these originally two pieces? No, it's all one. These were all one piece. All one piece. All piece oh. Yeah, that actually. I mean, you can see that it fractured several years ago. I mean, that's yeah. not. Yeah, I mean, they patched good. some of them, mm -hmm. but this is how much everything's. I mean, this one's fractured. That's due to the. Um, you know, the problem is that you don't know. There's probably not any foundation that's good, so you'd have right. to support this whole tower, dig down, fix the. You got to fix the base first, and then work your way up. Done. Right. Now here's the. This whole hill is starting to slide off. We've been doing that since. You see where the water's running through all this area. We're in that block. Yeah. Cement block right out at the bottom. You know, it's amazing. It's not. Yeah, I mean, you can see where they. Should, this is. You know, it's been yeah. patched here twice. You can see that they. You know, it just. It's it, it's kind of silly to say, well, it's really silly to say, this is floodplain, you can't fill it in, make part of it. But, it, you know, it, it's really silly to say you can't, you should be able to gravel it and, and put some parking in there, regardless of in the floodplain. You spent a million dollars on the dike, you know? Well, we weren't supposed to, but that would end up. No, that's what it ended up. I mean, that's probably what it should have been in the first place. Sash. Oh, yeah. We're so far gone, I had to put that Gorilla Glue foaming stuff just enough so I could hold it square enough so I could put the glass in. Yeah. If, if they're completely dry rot, you know, yeah. we've also got the lead and asbestos yeah. issues. Yeah, even the, the brick, brick is in good shape. The brick's in good shape, but it needs to be repointed. Yeah. And obviously, the block is. For its age, I would expect. Yeah, right. Yeah, to me, it's a it's a great idea if you're going to put an elevator in here to put it in that bell tower. That's what I think. At the same time, it would Ooh. be a shame to have to ruin Thanks. the beautiful front entrance. It would be a shame to you know to, just to make it accessible. So it's, there's a so you have to put it. You either have to build it internally, which is going to take away some of the space, or outside. Right. But That's the that, problem with yeah. all these historic buildings. You go stuff in an elevator, and you're, right. you're either losing or the outside. You're doing something the outside or the inside. Well, the, put it on the, the thing about here. the bell tower is it goes all the way up right. into yeah. the attic. Right. So you've got the room for the head. You know, you can put the thing up high enough. Yeah. You know, you've got the accessibility to it. It just it makes it ugly. Where if you, if you took all this crap out of the back here put it back here, it's out of sight. Well, yeah, true. I mean, and you could you could certainly build something high it up on the back of the building here and probably uh, change the line of the back. It's warm in here. I'll say. <laughs> oh they got they got rid of the big fluffy couches and chairs. Yeah. Here's, there's a nice section of mm. oh, yeah. yeah. And they're not supposed to be doing that. Well, here's the other problem. Oh, Here's the other problem in here. None of this, none of this furniture is fire rated right. for, 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 yeah. for cost stability. Yeah. Now here's what I'm talking about. Instead of radiators, yeah, have oh, radiant yeah. pipe. I remember that. I remember. Mm. Yeah, I kind of do too. <laughs> and this is all being, being black iron pipe. This is all. Every time the heat comes on, all this stuff is bringing it back. And these pipes are starting to fall apart. They are patched to the certain ones that have been yeah, patched out. Replaced, yeah. And there's a couple spots that have band-aids on it. Right. Sure is keeping it warm, isn't it? Just take out a pipe and be all set. Keep it a little cooler in here. Yeah, take out. Mm -hmm. There's no valves to shut the rocks out. Right? Well, uh, there's air vents, but it, it just it's such a this is a really antique system. You know, yeah. I the, the piece of piece of history. They said that. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's there's very cool. few technicians that's, who would even know where to start on that anymore. Yeah, really. You know, these are in, you know these are individual, you know, yeah, like almost like an individual zone. Right. One, two, back to three. Oh, so and it runs on steam. It's all steam. It certainly 
it, it works well. It's not a, very efficient, but it Put works. it this way. Steam was designed when you had one giant boiler and you just kept throwing coal and wood into it all day long. Yeah. And it was great when it got really cold and it stayed warm and that was yeah. it. But now, when you're paying oil and you're, I mean, if you're going to cook, you've got, you can't reduce the size of a steam boiler. You have to have the size to make the steam. So it's like, a, you know, it's like if you're going to cook an ear of corn, you wouldn't put a five gallon pail of water on the stove to start. You know, heating it up. Yeah. Not Whereas with forced hot water, so you can heat it. Yeah. You know, temper it to what your outside temperature is. Spanky should have to say about that. We, we've, we've written report after report after report. Yeah, in detail on those hinges. It's gorgeous. I hope here's another thing. Panel, asbestos behind it. And that's active. That's an active. Yes, that's panel. got fuses. Yes, and yeah, it's got. And there's not the tube, and I don't know, but right here with yours. Are there screw-in fuses in there? Yes. Or? Yes. Wow. What are the, what are the hall buttons for? Well, I'm not sure what those are for. <laughs> self don't press one. Self-destruct button. It's just a, that's another class. Okay. Here's a. No, don't this, this, that was their cooking class. That's what they were cooking on. Mm. We told them they can't cook in this building. I think somebody might be in the ladies' room, so we can't go in there, but that'd be out. Okay. Be very careful. These steps are miserable. What? Yeah, you know how it gets up here? Now, I would love to get my hands on the film that we made up here. When I was in sixth grade, we made a, a, a horror movie up here. Really? Yeah. It was like, it was it's a funny, project. a lot of kids' names I recognize yeah. are all written out around up it was here. A, it was a, a project. These are some of the ancient words. Stanley you know, Fell, 1937. He's still alive. Mine's like 95, that's a little newer. Eleanor Johnson, maybe, 1924. Lily Poza or Rosa, 1934. Walter Zygmunt, 35 to 36. Yeah, that's, that's the bell tower, the door is open up here. Here's your knob and tube wiring. your son using a different spelling of his last name over there. <laughs> That's interesting. We get a picture of that. I'll ask him. This is the chimney on top of the Russell School. Gary, Gordon Gary Berg is totally shot. You see the bricks crumbling up top. I'll oh, do a 360 of that gorgeous view. Right. But that's why the guy said you're probably looking at three quarters of a million. 
tear it off, fix it the right way. So be it. That's, that's, yeah. cheap. Bad that's, that's, short that's, that's not a bad roof. It'll last another hundred right. years. Right. It will. You don't rebuild a building inside and then let the roof leak onto it and then take all your new sheetrock insulation and electricity and throw it away and then patch the roof. This is all yeah, pulling off. Somebody put plywood. Stop sign. What did she say? It's kind of spongy. Yeah, it must. Have, roof must have been leaking to make this piece of oh, well. OSB expand like that. Mm -hmm. These, that this is the charter school screw and stuff. Oh, printer. Wow. It didn't work roof these up there. I mean, yeah, well, actually, I don't know if it's still... That probably cracked I'll the ceiling down below. These are fairly dry. These are the old gas lanterns, see? Oh, gas okay, lights. look at that. The gas lights. Are there any of the globes in the floor? No. Oh, yeah. Said these are gas lights. Yeah. Old shades. Like those are down to yeah, those you see how this curves too? Yeah. Whoa. And you got this here. <laughs> what curves? It's a serious wrench to crank that in. Right. It's a, it's a good detail. It may not. It, it makes it. I don't know where it may not be the best detail for an eve because of the way it rolls out. The right. Roof is gonna right. And it's it's tough on your slate to do that too. Yeah. 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 I mean, like, yeah. And certainly not metal. But now you this never see buildings either. like that anymore because nobody has the money to spend on that mm -hmm. kind of detailing, unfortunately. You know, on the other side, there are some spots that have to be repaired. You can look down through and see that some of them are starting to rot due to yeah. you know, continuing lacking. Right. It wasn't going anywhere, so nobody noticed it for a while. This building was originally Hopkins Academy. Mm. Yeah. It's like a more conventional radiator there. Yeah. A little yeah. different there. Yeah. You know, Dorothy Russell, who was a town historian, this was her classroom. I had fifth grade in here. Yeah, I think, uh, who did I have? Radiators, yeah. And worried on the nose. Where you been? I've been sitting on that nice, comfy chair right there. I've been up on that roof before. Oh, okay. I mean, you know. This is the room where Miss, Mrs. Howard read us uh, the Phantom Toll Book. One of my favorite childhood books. Oh. Yeah, they're yeah. their stage when they're when they now, put on, putting on something like they go and build their stage. Is this going the same way? Yes, it is. We have a little pitch coming there. Pitch to the right yeah. there. Yes. Is it supposed to be that way? Uh, I don't know about that. Well, there's no attic there, so, there, so I don't no. think so. I don't mm. think so either. The core settled at one point. Mm. It's probably been that way for years now. Maple repair. Yeah, that's not code. Um, That's the fire fire side. Yeah. Now here's where the uh, no, they don't have. Where did they must have They did? Yeah. That pipe. No, they had another one up here too. Oh they did? Yeah. Pipe that one there. All there. They had a Piece of Romex just pulled up right through oh, the same right? wall as a steam pipe. <laughs> they might have pulled across, and they might have actually fixed that. That might have been the one. They might have the steam on. pipe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see over here, you got the radiant pipe again. Oh wow! Now here's where you get the the old ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It looks just, I mean, so, and none of this is fire rated, and it's not supposed to be in here. Right. None of this None furniture, of this furniture yeah. you know, we've got a lot of folks. We've been telling them and telling them that you cannot keep this stuff in here. You yeah. have to get rid of it. And the selectmen seem to think that it's a kind of thing. Year or two ago? Last two years in a row. Two years ago. 
Now, this would be the room that Mr. Welgum made me stand in the trash can for being a class clown. <laughs> I remember him. So, Gary, what is that up here? This, huh? that, that up grain, top, yeah. That is part of like the natural yeah. ventilation. Uh -huh. There's ductwork running up through here. Mm -hmm. There's radiators in the cellar. Yeah. At one point, they used to use it to like make you know air exchange in the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're leaded glass, so you can't, yeah, you can't yeah. trash them. You want to keep them. Yeah, and you can't have plate in a public building. Why not? That's what Tim said. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if it's. Can that what? What is it? Plate glass in it? There has to be tempered glass. It has to yeah, be but, tempered. Well, yeah. with code but changes, I don't, I don't like know what that things you'd have to have tempered at that location. You're with yeah, the, you yeah, wouldn't we, have to change yeah, all you of can that. Touch that. Yeah, you right. Fall right through that. You right. Fall is that legal there. though, right there? Like it? I mean, the one above maybe. Not. I think there's a yeah. limit, like 30 inches or yeah. something. And no, then above that, you, it's not a fall protection issue. No, I mean there's several things. It's not eight inches to the ground. It's not more than nine 18. square feet. I mean, there's a whole number. Of, you've got to have four characters characteristics in order to have to have safety placing. So okay. none of that complies. Yeah, you know, the fresh air and, and all that. That's a good point. I mean, a lot of this is available. If, if you the chimney right goes, out. you could take it right yeah, down. Yeah, you take to it the... right out. You've still got plenty of yeah, corridor width there. You've got enough override upstairs. Yeah, to so you don't even have to deal with the tower. Right. You're going to have to put a concrete the, block foundation. That's not the suggested or, plan, I think, yeah. is to remove that chimney completely. Yeah. And, I mean, it's dead space. Yeah. The question is, is the structure bearing on that, though? I don't think even, so. Even if it was, you could resupport yeah, it as you, you could, go up. Right. You so could do a CMU kind of core. Yeah, or you're going to have to do something like that. It's got to be a fire rated shaft. And right. You would. So. Yeah. But that's the most likely place, other than outside the building. Right. If you're not going to put it out there, that's, that's it. I see it. I mean, there, there's a, a considerable amount of money to be spent with accessibility, mm -hmm. and we'll probably, you know, a lot of this stuff is salvageable. Floors, walls, a lot of this stuff is in good shape. It's just the accessibility and then the asbestos and that, uh, lead and stuff that needs to be evaded. Okay, we'll show you the first. Shut it off. This one, you just every time I came in here, you could hear it steaming and it was starting to cause it. Well. Yeah. So they, they said, Well, let's shut it off. If somebody complains about no heat, we'll deal with it later. Mm -hmm. And that's that's part of the beam that uh, they put into repair over there. Yeah. There's another one over here. Well, actually, there's a brick wall here. Here's the electrical room in here. You gotta see this. 
Let me get back here a little bit. And... Is that up to code there, Willie? <laughs> That's what a good, spaghetti. Uh... Yeah, but I mean, mm -hmm. this this is a, what's this box? Aha, the refreshment box. Yeah, <laughs> that's where it, that's where the fifths used to be. <laughs> we'll get some. We put some beams in here. To short that this was uh, mm -hmm. Tony Calvin did that. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me, Willie, what's so wrong with all these boxes in here? Well, one, they're, they're overloaded. They're doubled up. Some of the breakers are all doubled up and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. What do you mean by doubled up? Uh, two wires per, per, per two, circuit. Two wires for these. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? In the back, they put in two wires per breaker? Yeah, two wires per breaker. They didn't have no more room for any mm -hmm. spares, so they put in extra. Well, is that allowed? No. Then, I mean, who did it? How do you? Uh, we don't know. This one looks like a fairly new one. Yeah, well, they probably had way too many over. Maybe they took, whoever it was, took this, brought some power down to there into here. I don't know. Some wires up there. Hey, look at that wiring. That, that is nice right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Think that's live? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Could very well be. So, uh, talk about being rusted. Maybe these are laying right in the goddamn dirt. Stowe, Stowe, Province, Rhode Island, New York, and Boston. Hmm. Another pipe. Radiators. Right in the trough here. And these are your boilers. Yeah. One of those with the original radiators, and then they have to add the exterior ones later. Yeah. What's your take on the boilers, Gary? Are they, uh, they are complete honest? useful life? Complete junk. You can't. Oh, yeah. They're 20, yeah. almost 30 years old. Uh, one of them is definitely yeah. no good. The auxiliary, they say, um, could last a few more years, but the number one boiler is going to go. They both run at the same time. 84 they both run at the same percent time. percent efficiency in 1984. They, these both run at the same time. You can't get parts. The plates are cracking. You've used yep. uh, the insulation gone on the back. I'm curious how they get them in here. They're pretty big. They section, they build them. So they're, oh, they're knocked they, down? Yeah, they yeah. build, they mm -hmm. bring them in and put the sections together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Be where the water comes in. That's where we keep the stuff for handicap, the voting booths. Oh, mm. okay. They had some spare rock when they built this place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just finally got a pressure uh, reducer put in, it was blowing all the toilets apart. <laughs> So we, yeah, it was pushing 120 yeah. up into like 140 at night. Yeah, and it was, my house is doing that too. I had to put one in my house. I got to put one in. Yeah, it's, pressure's like 127 yeah. pounds. Yeah, I mean I can pressure wash my, especially at night when nobody the use is down. You can, you know, pressure wash a car with it. And it yeah, really, it really hammers on your toilets and stuff like that. You can see the yeah the bricks know, inside and the mortar starting yeah. just it's turning to powder. But that's common for this age, you know. It's, it's not settled and it's not breaking up, so. But even like with this ceiling, I don't see any flexing in the joist, so it's pretty solid. Yeah, there's no cracking, it's not falling, other than that one corner there. <laughs> this was fourth grade. I remember this being a library. This is Hurston, I remember it being bigger. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was when you were little. Yeah. This is where they had the little kits in there. 
and complained about the asbestos uh, flooring, so they pulled it all out. This is where they had the little kids doing their uh, painting and things, subletting sub this. Till, uh, Tim told them, no, that's totally illegal. So there's Two nobody people. occupying this space anymore? This is where no. They, no, they, they okay. had the art class out here for like three years. Yeah. And of course, then you got your glues here that could be potential. Right. And they had covers over the detectors and all that shit. They had them all covered up. Mm. So is that the only access down here? Is yes. the through the well through the men's room? You go through there, through the men's room, and that's how you get here. No, you got another room over here. Is there another stairway there? Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah. There's two stairways you come come to way. There's two stairways out there through that door. There, okay. But you got to go up here, and then you got to come down the other side. Yeah, this. Those stairs look a little tipped. I need to get some bowling in the middle. I don't know who thought to paint that. You know, that rock is porous, right? It's just going to eventually seep water in there. Yeah, but still, it doesn't look like it's. Right. It's, it's not like the stone falling out. Stone isn't falling out. No. Nope. Right. That's the front entry right there. Yeah. 